Hello, all, and welcome back to, uh, I've reached reacts to Friendship is Magic, Season 6, Episode 26, To Where is Back Again, Part 2. So, uh, yeah. Just a reminder, I already know that, uh, Sorax is going to be, is becoming the Changeling Queen, Chain, King. Either he's becoming, or he will become. Maybe it's due to some magic. Maybe it's just a natural metamorphosis he was always meant to undergo. I don't know. Awfully convenient that it's happening now and here, but all I know it's going to happen. Uh, and it, we're probably, outside of that, I don't know what's going to go on here. I can speculate that somehow they beat Chrysalis, free the others, and then Thorox goes on to lead his people into not being morons in a planet of hats. But, uh, outside of that, I got nothing. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get to this. Chaos plan. Also, yeah, that is a good question. How did he befuddle them? Really a waste of time. We have me, and what else could we possibly need? A draconic Christmas magic and half a green light. Well, that certainly answers a few questions about the nature of Discord. Chrysalis's throne is carved from an ancient dark spell. No idea. I mean, that's actually a very interesting, uh, thing. They introduced in the series a magic draining stone. Or, rock. That's not just anti-magic, it just straight up absorbs the energy from magic. I mean, sure, it just sucks away magic, because this looks like a barren wasteland to me, and I'm... Kind of... And that uh, it's range... And just as it's range ages, life flourishes. Have a way to make sure we are who we say we are. Huh? <laughs> Discord's not amused. Oh, hey, new changeling designs. Uh, but, you know, I just bring my idea. Yeah, if this thing's not gonna follow magic, why is changeling magic ignored? I don't think we'd be able to find our also, what? You definitely wouldn't. The Lord of Chaos. Explosives. Did she bring any explosives? Because that would do it. Yeah, like fireworks. Okay, this place has some pretty excellent acoustics. They have no idea how they didn't bring everybody on their head. That is a strangely valid point. What the heck is going on with him? She got smoke bomb for days. She's mobile. Yeah, I really should have realized that that was uh, actually. Uh, uh, Thorax. Names of me. <laughs> okay, you get points for laying in your lamp shade. That's not Photoshop. On one hand, he's actually pretty, being pretty smart here, which is unusual for Discord, much as I love him. But, uh,. Yeah, it's not even a good impression. I know this trick. If he says to go left, we should definitely go right. He's leading us to a storm we can Dead last long. Oh, they dropped her, uh, their stuff. Also, I'm not 100% sure I agree with the assessment that Starlight's good at being in charge. We haven't really seen any of that outside the one time she was being evil. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, how will I ever 
prevent this daring rescue. All right, trying to bump up the creep factor. I don't really think it works as that works as well in Flash as it did in uh, Maya. Well, well, well. Oh, his chain, his shape shift slipped, and his eyes show normal. Very clever. Really? Yeah, not feeling it. And uh, molting. Okay, now he's molting. Nope, I don't like it. It was dumb. It is dumb. I don't like their new designs. I think it. Is. I think a one-off change would work, but I don't think the, the entire change. No, I think it's dumb. I don't like the fact that their entire race has been evil for all the time. Maybe if you were at the time where they, they established just what they used to be before something happened that drove them to this. But this is stupid. This is very stupid. And apparently everyone but Thorax and even possibly Chrysalis. It's just a species of, of morons. Like, they're just all stupid as can be. Absolute stupidity! Which you were, Art. And I'm going, uh, I like, I do actually kind of like this budding antagonism between Trixie and Discord. It's amusing. Okay, so first, uh, what I said earlier, nature of Discord. See, I always kind of assume that, you know, given the, the weirdness of his biology, that Discord was not so much of a physical being as something that imposed a physical form on reality. Then, poof, everything but him went poof. So that told totally that theory. It's strange that none of the changeling magic is affected by that throne. There must be some way of tuning such thing to work towards your kind's magic, but nothing else. And I don't take it back anything I said in my rant. This entire plot line is stupid. I mean, should anyone be surprised? I. I, I I made no subtlety about my rather extreme dislike of it when it was just a one-off plot. It doesn't. It did not get any fucking better. No, you know I'm keeping that swear word in because it helps to emphasize the point. Any better? Be despite how, when you spread it out more. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. It was stupid. 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 Like, they, they just suddenly, oh, we can do that, and then suddenly shoot la love laser beams and transform into a chrysalis. I'm like, and I like the aesthetic design of the changelings before, so I don't like this either. Ah! The only thing I like is the idea that changelings c can, uh, can s that, uh, mutually given love is more nourishing for a changeling than stolen love. I like the idea of that. Or shared. I do not like any of it else. I'm not going to be one of those people who said, oh, the fanfics did it better, because, well, I generally liked what the fanfics did more than what they did here. I don't like it completely, and I think it had a lot of problems. <sighs> Uh, 
and I'm still firm on that, having a lot of problems. Overall, I I think this had a lot of, with uh yeah with, with I like what a lot of uh, uh the other people did more, but that doesn't mean the other people's perfect. I think there's some ideas here that could be could be good. For instance, what the fuck may you know? I I, I try not to swear during these. I'm keeping that in anyway, as well. What made Thorax qualified for the king when all the others did the transformation too? What made him special? Where the heck did this stupid conflict about uh, Starlight becoming a leader of ponies come from? There was no hint of this in any previous Frickin' episode. It came out of completely left field. It doesn't work. You need to set these things up. Most of the other ponies' issues are all set up well in advance. Here, it just comes out of left field. And I just don't think it works that well, and it doesn't bounce off well. And the ending with Chrysalis, I don't think real really works well. I, I, I just, I didn't like the episode. It didn't work for me. I'll be honest, if every season past this point did this, I could totally see how uh, other people, how I could end up dissatisfied with the show overall. I'm not going to say, like that, I'm not going to say Fanfix did it better. I, I'm not one of those people. I will say I prefer what Fanfix did, but I, I think that's just because the writers didn't think through their stuff when they decided to characterize these, you know, changelings of the planet, of, as the planet of hats, as the, the trope is called. There was some interesting stuff here, still. The changeling, uh, hive? That's really interesting. This shape-shifting mass uh, that they call home. A form of chaos that only they, normally, can, uh, navigate. That's neat. But what they did with Chrysalis, what they did with the Changelings, I don't like it. It, it did not feel well done, and I and even Starlight's character arc here wasn't all that great. And I could totally let, see how that could lead to a lot of people being dissatisfied with the show overall, because they weren't exactly happy about the redemption of Starlight at all. Ultimately, I don't think it really works for me, but I'm not going to say it was... It was Terrible garbage. I know what I prefer. This didn't do it. And, uh... Still, I'll, I think I'll talk about the season overall, too, while I'm here. Overall, I enjoyed the season. I'd have to say, but yeah, there were a lot of clunkers for me this season. Most obviously this, and the, where the apple lies, uh, I think would qualify. Uh, 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 the other Changeling episode, Starlight's Mind Control episode, uh... Times of being a pain. Uh, let me look up the episode names so I can just briefly jog my memory because I'm having a little trouble. Huh. Episode list. Uh, the crystalline was fine. Got one of fire. I liked, even if it did more dumb stuff with the the dragons. 
could have sworn that character would show up again this season. I could have sworn I heard something about that, but it must have been se season seven. On your marks had the main three of the main six be uh, annoying, but I don't think it was badly done. No, I really enjoyed No Second Fences. Newbie Dash was all right. I did not like Heartwarming Tale. Uh, yeah, okay. So a couple of episodes this season I didn't like, but most of them seemed pretty good. To Seems okay, and a few of them seem really good. So, you know, about on average. It's just sad that, you know, of the ones that I, I, I thought weren't great were, you know, an important one to the plot. Of the season finale, which should always be in, should you should always have that be in it, the high note, but, and I think that they thought it was a high note, but it wasn't for me, and I'm not sure how much other people would agree or disagree. So, After all this, I think I'm going to need to stop. So, uh, I pray signing out. You'll for the you'll see me soon with Ducktales. For this, you'll see me with the do a review of the uh, Legend of the Everfree. And that'll be it for uh, for a good while. At least if I get everything on my side fixed. Time for you to sign out. I will see you all next time.